Welcome to DRZ Steve. Here we have the camping box. We just built this for our trip to Colorado. We'll check out the electron carburetor and that things. But uh, for right now, we're showcasing this homemade camper shell. You want to come around this way? We got our $10 screen door save from uh, Habitat for Humanity, where I got the handle and the window. Welcome to the back. Here's the uh, the bed stand. I got a mattress to go on here. And uh, as we go up there, since Johnny's coming with us to this ride, we're gonna put his TTR on this side, mattress and everything else on this side, and then my bike will go on the uh, two inch hitch receiver. I've got a rack for that. So uh, until we do that video, that's all good. But uh, I'll put up some uh, screenshots of this build. If you wanna try and build this, it's a, a pretty simple deal. And uh, I'll go through the screenshots and uh, show you how I did it. Give all right, so I pretty much built this with uh, one by four pine boards that I ripped with my radial arm saw and uh, a two by four I also ripped for like the door frame. This is, uh, if you have basic woodworking skills, you can make this. Uh, I use stainless steel uh, half inch screws to screw the plywood down. That plywood is um, underlayment, floor underlayment at Lowe's. It's like $14 a sheet, so it's very inexpensive. And I left it in the rain. It seems super waterproof too. Uh, but I, I use marine grain grade varnish, UV grade varnish on the outside to keep it uh, weatherproof. And uh, here I'm just bending it around. I tried to make it aerodynamic. Uh, on my test run, I got 22 miles a gallon, bringing it back uh, 10 miles from the uh, lumber store. Um, anyway, your basic skills, I bought that on Amazon. Um, this door handle, I just uh, used a router and routered that in. There you can see it closes really well. And here it is on the truck. That was my first coat of uh, spar polyurethane. So and then I sprayed the last coat on. The box. It's doing really well. Open the top, it's pulling out air. Uh, this is just a test run to see if it was flapping in the wind or how it did. It's doing great. And so here's the uh, bed pan for my mattress. But it's looking good. Test is a success. For me, we've made it. Uh, I'm going to get some weather stripping, I think, to put under here, um, and uh, maybe some around the door. But I, I really probably wouldn't need it if it's raining hard, though, and you're going down the highway. There may be water that comes in here, so I'm going to weather strip that, and uh, hopefully, Johnny's going to come get me out. And uh, looks like it's coming now, so. Uh, here we'll do the grand exit. There he is, smiling face. All right, and that's the ride. Okay, just a couple of things here. This uh, detail here is this is a turnbuckle I got off of Amazon, so it's holding the loop on the Ford tail bed to this eye loop that's holding the uh, the camper down. Each corner has one of those. Uh, you can't see that one. And there's the front. Okay, and this, this screw is just to keep the turnbuckle from vibrating off. Just holds it still. That's uh, one detail. Uh, the other thing is, so when you're building this, like this is a one by four here, and this is a one by four, of course, and I just notched it. This is a two by four that I ripped, and then I just 45'd. And then uh, this is a one by four that I kind of curved and uh, I just hand kind of cut it out so this wasn't straight across. Um, that wood planer you see is very handy at 45-ing all this. So this piece you can see is kind of 45 there. This whole piece, the other edge is 45, so there's an area. I mean, these I just, just cut for strength. I pre-measured. This has to be 11 inches from here 
the center 11 inches from here to here and from here whoops depth perception to there um that i knew that dimension oh no i ordered this and when it came in that's when i built this part of the frame um i really put this part on just so this wouldn't flap up and down. I added this piece because uh, this is a four by eight sheet piece and then it stops here and this is a four by eight sheet piece. Um, I, I wanted to use one, but this is wider than four feet, so I had to use two. And so it comes together right there, um, that detail. So these deals, uh, these supports were really just to keep the, the plywood from flapping in the wind kind of um, and they strengthened diagonally so it wasn't going back and forth before I skinned it once you put the skin on it starts getting really rigid so um, I painted the top white just so it would reflect heat uh, this gray stuff I had this tube of this stuff for a long time and it is um, refrigerator or freezer caulk it's called it stays rubbery not supposed to uh, shrink and uh, it looks like really good stuff so after varnishing all my edges and getting as much varnish behind these then I went over with this stuff it's sticking real good to the varnish and when I spray coated my last coat on here I sprayed right over it and it you know we'll see how it does um, since I'm gonna use this in Colorado um it only you know when it rains in colorado it just rains for 10 minutes usually at least the time of year i'm going so and i just smeared it on here and you can see it just barely fills the gap so anyway it works great and i, I put it in the corners uh, and it, it seemed this is probably i put it on there a week ago so we'll just have to see what it does in the rain um, when i was talking about the pieces i left in the rain uh, it was like this piece. So it's rained twice on this. And and uh, this is not treated at all. So here that piece broke off. But it rained twice on there. And you can see the glue is still. I think nowadays, I, I remember in the old days, in the 80s, they used to use uh, some glues weren't weatherproof. But it seems like now in today's technology, everything's... Um, kind of waterproof and since it's floor underlayment I guess that uh, you know if your uh, refrigerator leaks or something then uh, you know it's got to stand some water anyway so there's the uh, there's the label and you can look that up if you want to try and make one Okay, so that's it on the build, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, get out there, camp, and uh, do stuff for yourself. DRZ Steve, out.